My name is Grace Tyler, Marketing Assistant for the Mac Kids School and Library team, and my November staff pick is A Magic Steeped in Poison by Judy L. Lynn. I chose this book because of its beautiful cover and unique storyline. For Ning, the only thing worse than losing her mother is knowing that it's her own fault. She was the one who unknowingly brewed the poison tea that killed her, the poison tea that now threatens to also take her sister's shoe. When Ning hears of a competition to find the kingdom's greatest Xing Nong Shis, masters of the ancient and magical art of tea making, she travels to the imperial city to compete. The winner will receive a favor from the princess, which may be Ning's only chance to save her sister's life. But between the backstabbing competitors, bloody court politics, and mysterious and handsome boy with a shocking secret, Ning might actually be the one in more danger. Inspired by her culture and history, A Magic Steeped in Poison is a gripping YA fantasy book with two starred reviews that you won't get enough of, the, the cutthroat competition, high stakes, a dash of romance, and a lush new fantasy world. Hi, my name is Mary Van Aken, and I'm the Director of School and Library Marketing at Macmillan Children's Publishing Group. My staff pick for November is The Lost Year by Katherine Marsh. Not only is this read incredibly well written, a mystery and a page turner at its core, it's also a critically important, timely read that sheds a light on the Holodomor, a little known crisis that took place in Soviet Ukraine during the early 1930s. Over the course of this tragic chapter of history, millions of people, most of them ethnic Ukrainians, perished by starvation at the hand of Stalin's Soviet government and its horrific policies. For decades, the Soviet Union denied the existence of this famine. It's still not known how many people died, though best estimates place the figure between 3 to 12 million. In the last year, Catherine has woven a multi-point of view story that alternates between three perspectives, that of Mila, a young girl and proud daughter of the Communist Party growing up in 1932 Ukraine, Helen, her long lost American cousin, and Matthew, our present day protagonist who discovers a shocking secret hiding in the girl's interconnected past when his ailing great grandmother Gigi comes to stay during the height of the coronavirus pandemic. The Lost Year is a timely and transporting tale of family and strength and hope inspired by Catherine's own family history. Though Catherine finished writing the book before the war in the Ukraine broke out, this book will certainly speak to this current crisis and help librarians and teachers inform young readers about Ukrainian history and how the past connects to today. The book also touches on the important topic of media literacy. Stalin's propaganda machine convinced many Soviets that there was no deadly famine. Catherine wanted to bring this little known historical chapter to light to encourage and teach young people to develop media literacy in a new age of disinformation. Please add the lost year to your to be read list for 2023. It is on NetGalley now. Hi all, it's Elise, Matt Kidd's School and Library Associate Marketing Manager, and my November staff pick is Be Wolf by Zach Weinersmith, illustrated by Boulay. You will want to experience Beowulf in a totally new way. Have you ever read it? This version is way more dynamic and super fun. I used to teach high school English and there was a year I had to read Beowulf aloud to my students for weeks. The kids just thought I was droning on and on and there was no way they'd have volunteered to jump in and read. If I'd have had Beowulf, I think everyone in the classroom would have had a much better time. This book has rhythm, goofy and expressive illustrations and so much kid-friendly humor. I love the way adults were drawn to be boring yet quirky and sometimes creepy, but mostly known for being fun confiscators, as Zach puts it. This is a book kids will want to read, a modern day epic poem that kids will find a love for verse in. This is an uproarious tale where kids are the true heroes.